We've redrawn the user experience built from the ground up on HTML5 that gives you an extremely fast, responsive UI that yet is incredibly beautiful to look at. We didn't want to silo team members into specific work activities like capturing requirements and triaging defects and analyzing feedback. We wanted you to work in context. That's why we've revised the navigation so that you can work in modes. For example, I can go to work mode and view my daily work views, which include my perspective, a personal work list view to stay focused on what's relevant to you. As well, I can go ahead and capture my time entries in timesheet, look at the current iteration, and also triage feedback. I can step back and go into the plan mode, which is going to allow me to view an iteration that I want to plan, or I can also look at my backlog, which is a unified priority management view for projects that compete for the same limited resources. Again, I can take a step back and look at the analyze section, which is going to go ahead and give you my analytics dashboards, such as the iteration status to ensure that my projects are staying on track. I can also view my people status as well as run reports and also view my time entries. We also allow you to filter in any projects that you have access to or filter out. With our extremely responsive UI, I can go ahead and quickly filter in all projects or if I want to, go ahead and take a look at specific projects that might make more sense at the present moment. So again, I can just come to the top level and just select the projects that I'm interested in. Click apply and the fast responsive UI will load any relevant data for those projects that I've selected. With the ability to look at multiple projects, I also need the ability to filter down to get to the data that is more relevant to what I need to do. So I can go ahead and quickly create a view from any of the modes that I'm in in order to filter down the information that I'm currently looking at. I can go ahead and add a filter. In this case, if I want to look at just requirements such as stories, the team pulse automatically recognizes if you change the view. So it asks you if you want to go ahead and save this view. I can quickly come in here and save the view as either a personal or shared view. I can go ahead and either choose to share this with everyone only me so it becomes a personal view that I, I only will see or if I would like I can go ahead and share this view with different projects as it might make sense for some but not for others and where do I want to display this in which mode does this view make sense to look at in, in work or in plan or in analyze so I can just go ahead and choose to show under a specific mode and click on save now team pulse will go ahead and add this shared view into the shared views area of my plan mode. Collaboration is a cornerstone of any successful project. Stay up to date with what's happening on all projects without having to leave Team Pulse by using the built-in activity stream. We've made capturing requirements a breeze within Team Pulse. We added a new quick add feature that no matter where you are in the application, will always allow you to add a new requirement into the system. You can simply type the letter A on your keyboard or the plus sign located on the top navigation to enter your new requirement.